Today, I'm going to be adding six new Pokemon that absolutely nobody asked for into Pokemon Emerald. These are additions to existing Pokemon lines that no one thinks need expanding. We'll then use those six to battle the Elite Four and Champion who I've modded to be much better than usual. They're all using full teams of six, equipped with held items, and in general have more interesting Pokemon. Drake has acquired a Latios, for example, and the Champion's got both Suicune and Kyogre. How is this going to go? Honestly, I have no idea, but let's find out. Okay, first up we've got Iqala. <laughs> Pretend you didn't see the Plusle shining in the background as it loaded in there. All of their entrance animations are going to have sort of ghostly Pokemon behind them. Iqala is of course the third in the Plusle Minin trio now that nobody asked for. Uh, synchronized for the ability, which I think makes sense. Leftovers, that's probably going to change, I just gave them all random items. Its base stat total is identical to Plusle Minin at 405. It's got the same speed and HP that they do because they have equals on that and then their other stats are slightly mixed up. So we've done the same. Uh, 90 special attack is our next best after 95 speed, although we're actually special up special attack or have I just invested more in special attack? Probably that. Moves, Tail Zap, Equalize, Tail Glow and Quick Attack. Tail Zap is basically 60 power, 50% chance to paralyze, which I don't think seems too broken. Equalize is pain split, <laughs> but I thought it would be cool for Equal to have a move called Equalize. Uh, next up, we have <laughs> Simi Soil, ignore the mining, uh, with Terra Fist, Soil Spray, Lick, and Return. Terra Fist is 75 power and chance to flinch, 20% chance to flinch, I think, and Soil Spray is Mud Slap, but it's 50 power, because Simi Soil needs some help. Honestly, Simi Soil is one of our better Pokemon. Uh, it is pure ground, it's got immunity for the ability, and the base stats are identical. All of the Simis have the exact same base stats across the board, so it's got that 498 base stat total, which they all have, and the stats are all identical. So, Simi Soil's pretty good, but, um, yeah, it, we're gonna be going up against very good Pokemon. We have Capo Third, <laughs> Choice Banded, uh, has Hustle for the ability, which I think will be interesting because Capo could be really, really good, but Hustle can be a nightmare to deal with. Pretty similar stat-wise to Sork and Throw, same base stat total because they, again, identical base stat totals of 465. We went for, I kind of sort of made it a bit more balanced than the other two. They all have, th or they, they both have 30 special attacks, so I went with that, and then sort of went a bit balanced on the other stats. We have Flip Kick, Fleet Feet, Bulk Up and Return. Flip Kick is fighting type slash, basically. Um, it's got the high crit chance. Fleet Feet is just minimize, <laughs> or double team, either. Uh, bulk Up and Return are regular moves, I think you know them. And yeah, so Hustle's gonna be interesting to see how it works. Un <laughs> Ignore the Chime Echo. Unknown in Terrabang. <laughs> this was a terrible idea that came from stream where we were talking about different unknowns that they could do. Uh, the Interrobang is like a half question mark, half e exclamation mark. Um, but I didn't want to just have an unknown with just hidden power. That didn't seem very interesting. So it has the move Interrobang, which is just explosion, but psychic type explosion, which I think is fun. Uh, so, it might make it semi-useful. Again, same base stat total and base stats as unknown, which is 48, 72, 48, 72, 48, 48. Uh, they all have the exact same, so that's what we've got. These last two, <laughs> I have... So, you can see with all of these, there's a Pokemon in the back. Like, this is basically just Upside Down Sulk. I've not really had to do that much. Changed the arm slightly, flipped it so that the the knot is hanging down. It's basically just upside down sork. Otherwise, this is essentially just Simi Sage, but recolored and slightly changed on design. This is basically just the two of them mixed and turned purple. Um, this is literally just a combination of the question mark and the exclamation mark. These last two, there wasn't really a jumping off point. So Astraltor is the third in the Soul Rock Lunatone line. Based off a of star, obviously, we have Rock Psychic and Levitate, so no change there. Stat-wise, again, we have mimicked the Soul Rock Lunatone 460, which I think is updated. I think they were 440 in Gen 3, if I'm not mistaken. I think they got 20... 
extra HP? <laughs> they got 20 extra in some stat, both of them, I think. So they're 460 now. That's where we're at. Um, similar to both of them, I think. We're, we're pretty balanced, actually. Highest stat is 90, lowest stat is 60. Um, our moves are Star Crash, Cosmic Power, Rock Slide, and Astral Beam. Star Crash is Psychic Type Fake Out. Astral Beam is Psychic Type Hyper Beam. I wasn't that creative with the moves, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, there's, I'm not that good at modding the game. <laughs> I don't know if that was clear. So, I can only do what's within my power. And finally, <laughs> the dumbest idea, but I think the best name, Perlossus, is the third in the Huntail Gorobis trio. It's just if the pearl got gigantic. <laughs> That's the concept. Uh, water steel, shell armor. Uh, again, stayed within the base stat total. This is our second best base stat total because Huntail and Garbus are 485. And it kind of shows through because we went for very low speed because it feels like it would be slow. The design is terrible. Don't look at the design. Um, but across the board, it's pretty good. Our moves are Rollout, Glisten, Surf, and Pearl Slam. Glisten is... What is Glisten? Glisten is just hand attack, I think. <laughs> it just lowers accuracy. The idea is we get shiny. Um, actually, I think, what does it say? So it creates a shiny film that makes it harder to see. Realistically, that should probably be Ups Evasion, but I think I did it to lower accuracy, so we're just gonna have to live with that. And then Pearl Slam is Skull Bash, basically, but 120 power. Again, we're gonna be taking on some really good Pokemon, so let's just see what we can do. I don't really remember what I did with the Elite Four, but we're gonna give it a go. Yeah. Okay, I, d <laughs> I didn't know that was going to work. I thought I was going to have to walk through the wall. I don't have all the badges. <laughs> I did actually play this game a bit just to get used to the Pokemon, and also I was leveling them up a bit. Uh, I, I'm i a bit confused, because <laughs> I don't have all the badges. I was just going to skip to this bit, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, we're in... I don't really remember how I mixed up the Elite Four. I know... Uh, we're going to want to leave with Capo here. Again, ignore what they look like there. That's not what they look like, really. I know we want to leave with Capo because Sydney is still a dark type. I think Sydney is the most similar to his normal team because I think he uses all six of the Pokemon that we've put on his team here. Because I think he's the only one that actually picked a typing that made sense. I think he has six Gen 3 dark types that are fully evolved, which is not even possible with any of the others, I don't think. <laughs> Most of them have picked types that just don't make any sense. Leading with Mightyena, um, we have Capo. That's not great, but I think this should be like a pretty free win. If Hustle works with us here, um, I feel like we're going to do well. That's a good start. So each of the Elite Four members go up five levels. So Sydney's whole team is 80 across the board. Uh, Phoebe's whole team is 85, Glacier's is 90, Drake's is 95, and the champion is 100 across the board. They will get better as they go. I honestly feel like this one might be free if Hustle... Okay, Hustle's gonna screw us a bit. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. It's not stabbed, though, so we're okay. No, okay, Hustle's not really working with us here. The well, good news is you're gonna get to see other Pokémon, uh, which is fun. I've, I've given all of them new movesets, new items, every Pokémon has an item. Uh, every Elite Four team has six Pokemon. There's no repeat Pokemon, which is like one of my biggest gripes with Pokemon games. I hate Glacius team so much. Nice. Got that crit. I don't know that we needed it. Again, that, there was that Intimidate, but I feel like we still might just one-shot this entire team if we can hit. Absol. Absol actually doesn't have any dark type moves because it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Absol's a physical attacker. You can't have dark physical attacks in this gen. Um, so Absol actually has sword stance and then three physical attacks. I don't know what they are. Aerial Ace. I might not have changed Absol's moveset, actually. Uh, I remember thinking Sydney's was the closest to being, like, a viable-ish team. But, um, unfortunately, we have a good fighting type. So, not that viable. We're still going to lose this by the looks of it. <laughs> Uh, maybe not. This will be a one-shot, I think. Flip Kick's not, like, an amazing move, but Hustle... Hustle's such a fun ability, where if your moves hit, they're gonna be really, really powerful. 
but at the same time, you're gonna miss a lot on 100% accurate moves. Now, Leech Seed is really a pain. Uh, I think Crawdon has the Quick Claw, so it definitely could outspeed. It does not. That is gonna be a one-shot again, I think. We have the Rare Candies here, so level everything up in between the battles as well. But... This looks like it's going to be a pretty easy win to start, which is nice. We should survive <laughs> this last thing of Leech Seed. Oh, Sharpedo might outspeed, though. Does Sharpedo outspeed? I guess we'll see. Can we get a sweep on our first run? Yes, we can. Okay, there's no way Sharpedo's living. Sharpedo has four defense or something. I didn't realize how weak it was, like frail defensively. Didn't need that crit. <laughs> but a very good start. Okay. Again, and we just about live on the rough skin. We will level everything up, move into the next one. I think they will get much harder. We don't have a good typing for everything. The next one, for example, we have nothing for Ghost, really. But we're gonna give it a go. Easy star. Okay, I'm honestly not really too sure what I've even given <laughs> Phoebe as her lead off. Actually, there's no Dust Nor yet, so she probably still has Dust Clops. I set the teams up for the Elite Four a while ago, deliberately, so I would forget. <laughs> um, so I'm not actually entirely sure what she has. She does have six. I think there's not that many options, so it's going to be Mistrevis, Gengar, Bayonet, Sableye, Dusclops, and I guess one more. I don't know who the last ghost is. Who's the other ghost? Because I didn't give anyone any repeats, and I gave them all fully evolved Pokemon. Uh, I just let off with uh, Simi Soil, because I didn't know what else to go for. Okay, you got Protect. I think I probably set this thing up to be very annoying. So it... it <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe I did... Actually, I might not have changed this moveset to... Again, I have no idea. It adds to the... I will also say I took away all of the Elite Four's items, because items in battle are not fun. We've got the crit. If I'd just gone for Terrafist, we would have knocked out there. Uh, we're going to switch out here, because I don't want to deal with Curse. Do we have... Ooh, maybe not, actually. Maybe we just finish this. Yeah, I think we just finish this. Okay, that's good. Free, free hit on something. This is going to be a KO. <laughs> There's no way Gengar is living this. Oh no, wait, Gengar has Levitate in Gen 3. I forgot that... <laughs> I forgot I got Levitate at one point. Um, okay, that was a great switch. Fair play. I also... I did m mess around with the AI. They might be smarter. <laughs> that seemed like a smart thing to do. What would you go for here? Ideally, I want to get into Unknown and use Interabang. <laughs> I don't want to let you go down, though, because you are good for us here. I might just... Did I give... I, okay, I'm going to go into Capo because I think I want to just sacrifice it. Uh, oh, I gave it all of the punches. I remember that. I gave it all of the punches because they're obviously special in this gen. That was not very much. I can't actually do anything here. So, I just kind of got to let it kill us. Which is going to be fine. Really? Gengar doesn't one-shot with Psychic? Really? We've got okay special defense, but not like crazy good. Our special defense is... 8? No, 90. Okay, we do have good special... No, it's 80. 80. Uh, right, I wanted the free switch into Unknown and Terabang. I couldn't name it Unknown because it was going to get mixed up with the other Unknown. So we had to go in Terabang. That's fine. I think our hidden power is Ice. We're probably never going to use it. <laughs> in Terabang! I assume this one shots? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I gave it a focus ban. <laughs> that was kind of clutch. Um, we do have Star Crash though, so we should be fine. Okay. Let's go Star Crash. Oh, if you switch into Sableye. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, I somehow made I made the Elite Four like good. Uh, all right, we need to get out of here straight away. Let's go. Let's go back into Simi Soil. This is not a great start for us. That focus band kicking in is unfortunate. That's fine. 
we have leftovers on for some reason. Again, I don't think I've really messed around with the held items. I might need to. Uh, let's just go Terra Fist. Hope for the crit. We definitely could use it. Not a crit. Oh, there's the flinch. This is not the crit one. <laughs> Flip kick is slash. This one has a 20% flinch chance. That's way better, actually. Uh, Citrus Berry. That's unfortunate. I set up this Elite Four, so the held items working is a credit to me in some ways. But also... Oh my god! Back to back on that. That's only a... Uh, 1 in 25 chance, so that was quite lucky. 4% chance of that happening, but we got it. Kind of needed it, because this was going very badly. Okay. I'm happy. It, if these battles are really tough, obviously Sydney wasn't... Sydney was always going to be pretty much impossible to make tough, just because... Um... It doesn't really... Make a difference what I do with the dark types if we've got a fighting type who's quite good. Luckily, we have Lick, otherwise we would be in trouble. That is a kind of standard move for the Simmies. I think they all get it by level up, so we'll take that. Uh, Dusclops next. Uh, this is actually kind of fine for us. I assume we outspeed. The Simmies are really fast. They've got 101 base speed, I think. We go over protect, okay. What's your item? I don't know, but I... We would outspeed, right? For... Yeah, okay. I was worried we were going to get cursed again. Very unnecessary crit, but I appreciate it. So who's left? Bayonet? Mistrevus? And something else. <laughs> I don't know what the other ghost is. What was the other ghost? It must be a Gen 3 Mon. Right? Unless I gave her not a ghost, but I don't think I did. Can we get the flinch again? No, okay, that's a bit unfortunate. We've got almost all our health back with the leftovers, though, so that's actually kind of clutch. Who is the other ghost? <laughs> Why can I not think of it? Is it like a secondary ghost type? So Drift Blim is Gen 4. I really don't know, but I should. Yeah, Bayonet's actually a good physical attacker. I stand by giving it Hyper Beam. <laughs> I think it... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make sense there, but... I, I'm not going to say they're perfect movesets, but I think they're movesets that are big improvements on what they had, and largely kind of work. In this case, they're working in our favor. Bear in mind, it is going to get much tougher as it goes. Specifically the last Shedinja! Shedinja, of course it's Shedinja. Uh, luckily we have Lick. And this thing is slow, right? That is very lucky for us, because I don't know how many other moves we have. I'm not sure we have any other moves for Wonder Guard. Uh, we don't have Fire. We don't have Flying. We... Do we have... Yes, we have rock. Okay, we, we would have had rock. Um, the leftovers will keep us alive here. Just about. No, they won't. 32. What were we, what were we taking? <laughs> I was clearly not paying attention to the damage we were taking. Who haven't we seen yet? Let's get Iquala in. Um, I think we should be able to beat a Mistrevious between the three of us. Let's just go for Tails app. Nice. Can we get the power? No, we cannot. Phoebe, is this not your last Pokemon? Phoebe, was that not your final Pokemon? Phoebe, why would you do that? Well, let's get Perlossus in, I guess. You haven't seen everyone yet, so you can get Perlossus for, for everyone now. So, it's just a big pearl. Um, I gave it hidden power? So, it should be hidden power... Dark. Which would we resist? Does Steel resist Dark? It feels like it would, maybe. Um, unfortunately, definitely lost this battle for herself by... What did I give this thing? Did I give this... <laughs> I... I think I put it in a document somewhere. Can I find what I gave it? It's... Got something, I'm sure. Actually, I think I changed it kind of on the fly. 
Who do we have? We have Mistrevious Thunder. Why are you not going for Thunder? It's got Thunder and Pain Split. Oh, there you go. Okay. I was going to say, I, I was like, it, it definitely doesn't need to be going for Hidden Power here. Hidden Power, I guess, was for Ghosts. I didn't really make a big plan. <laughs> I didn't know what this Elite Four was for when I made them. So, it could have really been anything. But there you go. We take down Phoebe with a lot more difficulty than Sydney, but a good battle. I'm pretty happy with how this is going so far. Okay, here we go. We have Glacia. Not really sure what Glacia's team is, but I know it's better than her normal team, which is Celio, Celio, Glalie, Glalie, Wolverine, which is the worst team in Elite Four history. It's worse than Agatha, who's got a famously bad team where her team is clearly poison and not ghost, but Leading with Sneasel, okay. I mean, it only makes sense for us to go Capo on this one again. I actually don't have, <laughs> it's just occurring to me, I don't think I have any, oh, I don't have any, wait, what? Oh, I probably should have thought that through. I do think I gave a few Pokemon in the Elite Four return if I just needed to give them like one last good physical move, but I didn't, Update, I realized after that I needed to update base happiness because there was no way to, or that I could see, to alter the happiness. She does have a Deli Bird. Of. That's unfortunate because I wanted to see what Deli Bird was going to do, but that's definitely going to kill it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Deli Bird. That's unfortunate. I like Deli Bird. I wanted to see what it would do. Jinx? Is Jinx going to outspeed us? Possibly. Yes. Going fake tears, though. Do you live the hit? I don't know that you do. You don't have very good defense. Which, honestly, that might be a, a fault with my setting up of the AI. That uh, could be on me. Again, she's getting unlucky here that I'm not missing. <laughs> with Flip Kick. Because Flip Kick is really good, but Hustle also means... Yeah, maybe maybe Capo's too good. And it's possible. I don't know, I don't feel like Slash, but fighting type with a hustle? It doesn't feel broken. Does this thing live it? Probably not. The fact that we haven't missed is kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't want these to just be complete blowouts, but... Uh, Capo's really good. I guess fighting is very good for this Elite Four. And finally, Pilot Swine. Again, Pilot Swine probably not gonna live Flip Kick. We hit every single one. That's incredibly unlikely. Right? To go six for six? Even on 100% accurate moves, you have Hustle. That's basically hitting six, I think, 80% accurate moves in a row. Which is actually kind of unlikely. So... I don't know, I, I apologize to Glacia. That was <laughs> probably easier than it should have been. I think she only hit Fake Out and Return. The Return is also my fault. I, I think Sneasel only has 70 happiness, so that Return was like zero power, basically. Okay, we have Drake up fourth. This team is really good. <laughs> I remember that. Drake has six fully evolved dragons, those being Dragonite, Salamence, Flygon, Altaria, Latios, and something else. I don't know, what's the other dragon? <laughs> uh, Garchomp's not here yet. It's something, I switched up the strategy here. I've gone unknown in Terra Bang up front because we have Hidden Power Ice, I'm pretty sure. I also switched up our held item. We'll see if that pays off. That is gonna pay off, right. I knew that I gave Altaria Sing, so what I did, was I gave Unknown a Chesto Berry. Okay, so we are gonna get off our Hidden Power because Altaria also has Dragon Dance, which I suspect is what Drake is trying to do here, is put me to sleep. Oh God, that's bad. Do I in Terabang? <laughs> I think you're gonna go sing again. You are, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, the strat is clearly here, put me to sleep and then start setting up Dragon Dance. Which means you're going to presumably go for it again. You're probably going to hit this time. But I may as well hit in power. Okay. I mean, we just got lucky there. 
I there was no point in not going hidden power. Okay, look at unknown go. <laughs> I did also while I was thinking of this come up with different moves for every different letter of unknown. I mean, there's no point in not going hidden power again. Oh, I don't think we love that. We might. It's not stab. We do. I I mean, there's no way. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get to Interrobang, though. I did a lot of damage. I mean, there's no point in going Interrobang just because hidden power would kill anyway. Okay. That's fine. Unknown did a great job there. We don't have such good moves left at this point. Uh, this one's not flying, so I guess we go Capo because we actually can hit this thing for neutral damage. Oh, that's unfortunate. But also your choice banded. So yeah, you see, those misses are there. What's our defense? Our defense is 80. And we got decent HP. We live this for sure. That did nothing. Why did that do so little? I don't know, but also, yeah, I d maybe the choice band is what makes Capo so broken. Is, I there's no real point in us switching at this point. We may as well just stay in and get what damage we can. Like, how much is this gonna do? Like, that's a lot. Like, choice band and hustle is a lot of power. We could switch, I guess. Um, yeah, you know what? I, I think it's probably worth switch. Probably should have gone Astral Tour because Iqala only has 50 defense. And this thing has a lot of attack. It's not too bad. You also have lefties for some reason. <laughs> I didn't put a ton of thought into all of their held items. No one going for that just yet. Can we get off a Tail Glow? Let's go for the power. We'll get decent ish damage off because it's not completely resisted. And 50% chance of the power? We get the power, okay. Alright, that's gonna be you. <laughs> but you got us the power, which is the main thing. That was not stab, but yeah, okay. Right, I'm just I'm I'm not entirely sure how their like EVs are, because maybe they just have zero EVs, because you can set their IVs to be 31 across the board, which is what everyone in the Elite Four has now. But you, you can't touch their Eevees, so I don't know, maybe like, maybe they all have zero? Who do we want to go to? Did we have a plan? Uh, we got Rock on you, so I guess we'll go to Astral Tour. Might as well get the free Star Crash, and then we can Rock Slide. Okay. Takes a bit of damage. Oh! That's kind of cool. I don't know why you would go for that, though. I swear, I tried to make the AI smarter. I don't know why you would go... Why would you go for that? <laughs> that was literally zero damage. What is happening? Wait, wait, wait. What Pokemon is this normally? No, because they're noticing the others for what type they are. What are you normally? Uh, no, because you're normally a Soul Rock, so it's not like... It thinks so that would be great on a soul rock. It has oh maybe it maybe I messed up. Maybe it doesn't have anything. If it's got EQ, which we avoid. EQ Dragon Dance. I don't know what it's got. <laughs> that one might be on me. Uh, that's it's very possible that I messed that one up. Let's go in to Prolossus. No idea what Kingdra has. Kingdra's the other dragon, by the way. I remembered when it came out. Alright, we resist that big time. Ooh, still did a lot of damage. Also has leftovers. <laughs> okay. Do we just go... Steel... Dragon... Steel resist dragon. Steel resist water. I don't think they, they resist steel. Oh yeah, I set this thing up to be re but it has toxic and we can't get hit by toxic, obviously. So we should be okay. This move is kind of useless in this sense, because I don't think Drake has any other, I think Dragonite was Drake's only physical attacker. 
Oh, this is sad. This is sad and bad. Can you hit this, please? No, okay. Uh, we probably need to get out of here, <laughs> like, straight away, because this is going so badly. I don't know what we go into. I guess we go into Capo. Because you're weak to water, you're weak to water, okay. Let's go to Capo. We still have Latios to deal with, and Salamence, <laughs> so this is not going great. You live that, I think. Do you outspeed this thing? Let's say you do. You do. Needed that to hit. Okay, that that sh should be good damage. Oh, crit would have killed. Crit would have killed, okay. Question is, do we just go in for the star? I think we do just go in for the star crash here. Let's go into a Straltor. Take the star crash. Probably switch out, because we're not going to outspeed. I don't know. I don't know how fast this thing. Why did that not go first? Does Fake Out not always go first? <laughs> I thought it always goes first. Did I mess it up? I mean, I literally just. I don't think I did. That should have worked. Uh, I don't really feel like we can switch at this point. So, I guess we just have to take this death. Huh. Kingdra is really messing us up here. So... Oh, you probably outspeeded, actually. I should have realized that earlier. We could have just saved Astraltor completely. Yeah. You killed with... Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're in pretty bad shape here. I don't know how much use Simisword is going to be against Latios. Not very much, I think. We're just going to have to go for the para and hope for the best. Okay. Okay. Needed that para. <laughs> really needed that para. It's not stab. We live. We live on one. We live on 25. Okay. Now the question is do I just go for damage or do I go for the para? Um. I go for the power. I think this is our win con. Paralyzing the Latios right now. Yes! Okay, okay. Now, can't move. Okay, that's okay. It's not great. But we have a chance. Half a chance. Alright, Prolossus, this is your time. Let's... Do we lower accuracy or do we just start attacking? Maybe we go roll out. Genuinely, maybe we go roll out. It's not stab, but the th three hits. Oh, I need you to be paralyzed after this and not. The Thunderbolt has a fire chance. Don't par paralyze me. Okay, okay, okay. I need you to be paralyzed next turn. I also need uh, roll out to not miss ever. Okay. Did two more hits kill? No. Okay. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Okay. That's not great. I feel like we got a bit unlucky, or I'm just bad. One of the two. Okay, this might be it. We're one on one. Simi Soil is faster. I don't think this kills. <laughs> so we're gonna need to live an ice beam. Okay. I don't know how close this is going to be. This is attempt number four or five. Five, I think. Drake is really good. Okay. <laughs> we win. Oh my god. Skin of our teeth. This was our last Pokemon. There we go. Easy as that. It's that easy. You know? Yeah, this was a tough battle. This is a good team. The good news is Wallace only has two legendaries, so... Maybe we'll win that one, too. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Alright. I've got a strategy here. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work. Wallace has a team of six, including a Suicune and a Kyogre. <laughs> this is a good team. It starts in the same way it normally does, and I think there's a chance I can, like, semi-set up. Because I think Perlossus can get off a few Glistens. And if 
Wallace doesn't switch. Did I level up? I think I did. I did use the right. Okay, I did use the right candies. Um, I want to go glisten. Oh, I forgot I gave it earthquake. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna. I forgot what his other move was. I know it has water spout and rest, and it has a chesto berry, which is kind of scary. But I can live a couple of these, and I think it's okay. I really need the third one to miss, at least. Okay. So we definitely live another. But if we can get... Oh, God. You are going to absolutely murder. The plan is to... <laughs> use as many of these as possible. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. And, like, the smart person would switch. But even with me... I, tr I tried to fix the AI, but even then, I don't know that he will. He should... Okay. If I can get the accuracy low enough to let Iquala tail glow, maybe twice, <laughs> then we will be in very good shape. We're also getting all our HP back here. My worry is I'm going to switch into Iquala and the Earthquake is going to hit. Maybe the play is switch into something with Levitate first. Okay. I think that's glisten number six, I believe. Let's just check. I think that's all of our glistens. We don't really care if he Q hits. Uh, oh, I have no idea what we were at. We're down to eight? Let's assume that was all of them then. Uh, so let's go into something with levitate. Let's go into unknown, where it wouldn't be like the end of the world if we were to get hit. But this should at least bait the water spout. So we can switch into Iquala and not have to worry too much about this first move hitting. I mean, Water Spout is actually going to kill anyway. <laughs> okay. That was probably for the best. Um, now we Tail Glow. And Tail Glow again. <laughs> okay. And then we go Tail Zap. And we try and run this whole fight with Tail Zap. Okay. I don't see how you could live this. You have amazing HP. I don't know what your special defense is. It's only 60 power, actually. Okay, good. <laughs> um, Why do you have that's faster than me? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. I forgot I gave him Swampert. <laughs> well, that was a fun strategy to get rid of the Waylord. A very unnecessarily long strategy to get rid of the Waylord. I don't have any grass moves. Well, we have a free switch into Unknown here, because obviously it's going to go Earthquake. Okay, that was unfortunate. Um, Do I just go in Terrabang? I don't think he one-shot me, so... Oh, we have Quick Claw. I think that's how we outsped there. I assume Swampert speed is better than 48. <laughs> hey, there we go. Oh, the crit! Unknown! Amazing, amazing work. God, that strategy was so dumb. Okay. I guess we go back into Iquala, because there's no point in not doing that. Uh, like, Tail Zap is good anyway, because we can get the Paralysis. Hey, Suicune. Suicune is a problem. Like, a real legitimate problem. Kind of need the para here, honestly. Para would not go amiss. Para? Yes! Huge! Okay, 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 okay. And you're stuck. You can't get out of the para, right? Oh my god, I'm so smart! <laughs> I didn't... I, I did this long ago, I don't remember what I gave these things. I'm, I'm four steps ahead of myself. Okay, this is okay, though. It lives, but it paralyzes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's okay, actually. That didn't do that much because of the car mind. Oh, would that be the best read ever? That read would be so good. I don't know that it kills. 
And we gotta play those odds, right? It's close. If it doesn't kill, it's close. And even if it doesn't kill, we have the 50% para chance. Ah. Okay. It's okay, it went for Surf anyway. I thought it could Calm Mind or it could Mirror Coat, in which case Tail Glow could be kind of clutch. Right, we really need this to work. Or do we just go into someone who I think is definitely faster? Were we outspeeding? We were, right? We were outspeeding. 228? 270, right, yeah. Okay, you easily outspeed, so let's just go into you. Um, I don't... Yeah, I don't know the... Astral or Star Crash doesn't seem to really work like Fake Out. I don't know why. <laughs> I clearly messed something up. I don't know what. Okay. See, my Lothic is scary. Do we just go for this? Go for the flinch? We definitely outspeed. Do we go for the lowered accuracy? Hmm. I need 20% flinch chance where it definitely lowers accuracy. I'm gonna go for the lowered accuracy. I'm gonna go soil spray. Crit? Oh, huge! Okay. Absolutely huge. Still got hit. I think we live one. Maybe. Oh my god! <laughs> Simi soil! Uh, that's lefties, I think. Oh, we don't kill, actually. We do need the flinch. So do I just go soil spray? Do I just go soil spray? Does that make more sense? Get another tick off the accuracy? Because that doesn't kill unless we crit. So let's go soil spray. I think that's the play. Get the accuracy drop. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Ish. Right. So something can take you out from here, I presume. Capo probably outspeeds, right? What's your speed? 224? I think you outspeed. Do we want to choice ban you into flip kick? I think we do. Um, We could go return. I mean, they're both the same accuracy, so I guess it just makes more sense. I mean, return is more powerful in less flip kick crits. Uh, no, that's not true, actually, because of the stab boost. Uh, yeah, no, this is, this is more powerful anyway. So let's go flip kick. Nice! Right, that definitely kills. We're choice banded, hustle, stab. Oh, yeah, that's killing a million times out of ten. Kyogre and who? Okay. Kyogre's scary. Kyogre's really scary. <laughs> and it has water spout. Uh, we kind of need to outspeed here. Okay, thank god. Okay, thank god. Uh, we were screwed. If it- if we couldn't outspeed here, because I don't think our other Pokemon do, and this thing has Water Spout... Capo the crit! <laughs> okay. That was a very timely crit, because Kyogre was very dangerous for us. I think we got him. And we have half our team left. As it turns out, Drake was the most powerful all along. Leech Seed, I don't think it's going to do enough. I mean... You can keep ticking away, but I think we've got this now. Oh my god, what a time for a crit. That's unbelievable. Takes down the Ludicolo. Capo is really, really good. <laughs> uh, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. I don't know if people are going to want this as content. I enjoyed making it. I especially, I, I liked messing around with the Elite Four team and just seeing what we could do. But, uh, yeah. Tell me if you want more of this. If not, like, tell me, I guess. <laughs> tell me that too. I will just skip forward to see them getting into the Hall of Fame because that's always fun. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. An absolutely unbelievable team. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.